Hi, Steve Oliver here again, and welcome back to the Landscape Business Owners Bootcamp. Using the processes I'm about to talk about in this video and other videos, I've had clients quite literally at the consultation stage during conversation tell me they're going to go and phone the other landscaper or landscapers and go and cancel their appointments. That's how powerful the processes and strategies are that I'm about to show you in these videos. You'll also remember some of the frustrations from the last video, time wasted clients, etc. And remember, if the client is saying anything like, we'll get back to you, or we'll have a bit of a think about it, then things aren't working that well for you. There is something wrong in your process somewhere, and if the client is saying these to you, then there's a 99% chance that they're not coming back to you. And they're having a bit of a think about it, but they're having a think about is who else they're going to use instead of you. We also spoke about how learning to catch a fish is learning how to sell landscapes. That you need to go fishing where the fish are. You need to make the right offer to the right customer and how important it is to use the right tools. And how in business or in fishing is a hard way or an easy way to learn the stuff and there's a hard way or an easy way to do the stuff. And that you had a decision to make as to whether to take a look at the easy way or not. And if you're watching this video, it's probably because you are more interested in doing things the easy way or learning how to do things the easy way. So to get the most out of these sessions, it's important to have an open mind. Don't tell yourself that you know everything that I tell you today or in these videos. If you tell yourself you know this, oh yes Steve, I know that, well then what you're doing is you're closing down your mind to new stuff. And if you're telling yourself you know that because you already do kind of know that, well, if you're not doing it, then you don't really know it. Hence the saying, to know and not to do is not yet to know. You can read 10 books on how to fly a helicopter. Does that now mean you know how to fly the helicopter? No, of course it doesn't. You've got to jump in the helicopter and you've got to fly the helicopter, obviously with an instructor, before you actually know how to do it. All right, today's topics, the landscaper's marketing letter, why traditional advertising doesn't work for landscapers, if you are doing advertising, and if you do use advertising, some things that you can do to improve your chances of the advertising working. A better way to handle inquiries over the phone so you avoid wasting time with the wrong people. The wrong people, of course, are the tire kickers or time wasters. How to run a unique consultation that leaves your clients wanting more. Why people buy people first and not product. Why people buy people first and not product. Now, before we start, there's three underlying principles that I want you to understand. In fact, I want you to write these down. So if you haven't got a pen and paper or a pencil and paper, pause the video now and go and get some Right, so the three underlying principles. Firstly, it's difficult to make the sale if, firstly, the client doesn't like and trust you. If the client sees you as just another brick in the wall, Think back to the first video, how I was just another brick in the wall back in the earlier days. It's difficult to make the sale if you don't establish a budget, or as I like to call it, a spend limit. Now I can just about hear half of you saying, well Steve, the client doesn't know the budget, or if the client doesn't know the budget, the client won't tell me the budget. And I ask them every time and they never tell me and all this kind of stuff. Well, two things. Firstly, the client does actually know the budget. Well, the spend limit, really. The client knows what they are prepared to spend on their landscape. They don't necessarily know what they need to spend to get what they want. In other words, their wish list will nearly always exceed their spend limit. But they at least know what they're prepared to spend on their landscape. And secondly, there is absolutely a way that you can get that information from the client if you ask the right sort of questions and use the right tools. Second principle is your business is your bat and ball. The 
clients have to play the game by your rules. Having said that, the rules have to be fair for everybody. If they're not, nobody's going to come over and play. And thirdly, no effective substitute for word of mouth or referrals has ever been invented. No effective substitute for word of mouth or referrals has ever been invented. Now I'm going to prove that to you right now. Ask yourself or ask anyone you know this question. What is the best type of advertising or marketing there is for any business? And almost every single time the answer is going to be word of mouth. Now word of mouth and referrals, it's really kind of the same thing. Referrals just have to step up from word of mouth. But you ask anyone that question, and probably 99 times out of 100, you're going to get the same answer. Now the real interesting thing is this. Almost no one uses a good word of mouth or referral program. They either don't have one at all, or if they do, they don't use it, or don't use it properly. Which dramatically reduces the chances of people referring new clients to them.